Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is a good one today. We're thinking pink today. We've got a lot of pink. The idea was to pull together a nice pink Dior look for the most part. I had to switch it up at the end. Uh, so we've got a brand new eyeshadow palette from Dior for spring. I bought two of them next week. This is the first video. Next week I will feature the second eyeshadow palette with their new foundation. But today we get one of those eyeshadow palettes, okay? I'm trying out a new, for me, lipstick from Dior. And we're talking Koyomo brushes. I'm gonna try my, my brushes out for the first time. So we got some stuff to get into. So we've got swatches and I'm gonna try everything on. So if you wanna see how this face came together and what this incredibly chic and on theme thing is on my head, just keep watching. And please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I appreciate it when you do. Now let's jump in. Okay guys, before we jump into this new Dior uh, eyeshadow palette and these Koyomo brushes, of course I have to talk about my Breezy Tea product of the day. I am rocking our Dusty Rose uh, silk twill skinny scarf, okay? You're looking at the side with the stripes, so it's like a mauve against the Dusty Rose, and then the other side is just completely this Dusty Rose color. We wanted to give you two options in one scarf, so if you want a little extra color, we picked complementary colors uh, to match all our Silk Twill skinny scarves, and then one side is completely solid. And I love these things. Silk Twill is the standard in luxury for all the fame fashion houses around the world. Silk Twill is the, is the benchmark, and um, we make our own Silk Twill products uh, in this business, Breezy Tea, and our luxury lifestyle business, Fray by Breezy Tea, which I'm going to be talking about very, very soon. Um, uh, so we do use Silk Twill, and so super sophisticated. The reason I love Silk Twill is because the sheen is not super shiny. I don't like shiny, shiny fabrics. So the, the Twill uh, pattern allows for the light to hit it in a really cool way. So it's just a, a really nice, soft, sophisticated sheen. They do come in lots of colors. If you wanna check out any of our Silk Twill skinny scarves, you can visit us at breezytea.com or our Etsy shop. Links will be in the description below. Not just colors, they do come in patterns as well. Okay, so I'm going to break up the Dior two eyeshadow palettes were released for spring uh, just a couple of weeks ago. I'm gonna break up the two palettes, separate them into two videos. Today, I'm gonna focus on the pink palette, Papaline, which is a beaut. Okay, a pink color story. I do not have this color story from Dior. Thus all the pink. Only on YouTube will you see me in so much pink at one time because it's a lot of pink, but okay, I do love a theme. So that is why I'm wearing pink. Now, next week what I'm gonna do is we're gonna try out this new foundation from Dior along with the second eyeshadow palette. And I'm just gonna show it to you now. Okay, this is the second eyeshadow palette that was just released. Also very, very pretty. And just so you see them together now, we'll do this again next week. They're completely different color stories. And what I'm also going to do next week is I'll swatch them both, okay? I'll swatch them both uh, together so we can see the differences. A little bit more of business. I'm going to start posting photos on my community space because like somebody asked me, I've been asked before about swatches, but somebody asked me the other day um, about the difference between one of the new Chanel blushes and a Pat McGrath blush. So I've taken those, I've, I've done those swatches and I'm gonna post them on the community space so you can see it um, on my skin tone. And I'm gonna do the same for a couple of Chanel uh, swatches from my last video that you can see it in sunlight. Only a couple, because I do a lot of um, videos and pictures. That's why you need to follow me on Instagram. I always post swatches, and now I'm doing them in sunlight, natural light, um, on my Instagram page, so you can see the swatches uh, in video form sometimes, pictures, close up on my skin tone, to you know, so you can gauge a little bit better. I think swatches are super helpful, so. I'm gonna bring some here to YouTube and then all of them will be on my Instagram page. So that is just a bit of business. So this is a bit of a get ready with me. So I said we're gonna be talking brushes and I have not used these yet, these beautiful Koyomo uh, brushes. There are three of them in this set. Uh, I'm gonna show them to you up close. 
beautiful red wooden handle that I absolutely adore. These have been washed, so they're nice and fluffy, okay? Super soft, nice and fluffy, and I'm excited to try them out. So that's the powder brush that I think I'm going to use for um, my bronzer in just a second, because I haven't done that yet. Uh, we have the cheek brush, okay? These remind me of bowling pins. As soon as I first became familiar with the brand, the handles just crack me up and I love them. They're very unique, but they remind me of bowling pins. And then we have the eye brush. I'm going to try to do the whole eye look with this brush. Let's see if let's see if we can be successful with this single brush. So Koyomo. Ko means ancient and Yomo is goat. So that is what they're known for. They're, they say they're all about, all about the hair, all about the hair. And so this goat is a uh, older goat hairs, which are very different to the goat hairs that are coming out today or are used today. Um, these are apparently softer. Um, they are, I believe, stronger and softer. And there's just a, there's just a, a completely different quality to the goat hair that is found today. So, um, these are a bit more expensive because of that. Any brush that uses the older goat will be um, a, a little bit more pricey. So this is exciting. Now, they have about, and I they have this set with also a brown brown wooden handle, but the red just called to me. It just looked so unique. So um, from what I surmise in the, you know, Fude brush world is, uh, this is a very coveted brand, okay? These brushes are really coveted and there are about, it's single digits. So don't, don't, I don't know the exact number, but seven or eight around there, different uh, sets of brushes. And you can buy them individually or you can buy the whole set and they have different grades of hair. From what I've heard, um, all the great people who have, you know, experienced all the different grades of brushes, this is my first uh, set from them. All the grades of hair are so soft and so beautiful that you can't even tell uh, unless you're really, really, really like an expert in brush, so you really know a lot about brushes, you can't really tell the differences between the grades. So the highest grade brush um, for a lot of people is comparable to this grade of brush. This is not the highest grade brush. Um, I think this is the second highest from them. These are Sokoho uh, goat bristles. So that's just a little bit about them, the brand. Again, really sought after Koyomo. Um, beautiful brushes. They all have similar designs. Um, some have a flatter bottom and lacquered uh, handles, but really, really beautiful brushes. And I'm excited to try them out. So that's what we're gonna start with. Let's start right now with the powder brush and get some bronzer on my face. So I'm going to use Dior Forever's Natural Bronze in Warm Bronze 05. Let's see how this picks up and distributes the bronzer. I'm trying not to, um, to dig too deep into it, um, but let's see. I need a bigger, uh, a bigger, it's, it's like, whisper soft oh it's so soft this feels so good on the skin and i mentioned this before brushes were one of those things that i was one of those people like a brush is a brush is a brush is a brush and then you realize that's not true at all now there are there are things at different price points and there's something for everybody's budget but what i find especially as i'm getting older i need the most gentle gentle brushes on my skin this feels like a cloud or what i imagine a cloud to feel like so i need really really um easy no tugging no no roughness on my skin i just can't have that it just it, it doesn't do me i need i need easy stuff and it, women in their 40s and above should know what I'm talking about in terms of you want not just the makeup to 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 be easy you want the brushes to be kind to your to your skin as well and this one is doing me well this is beautiful oh this feels so nice guys 
And which which begs the question, because I'm going to get more from them because I'm I'm curious. I I, I am. I want to try the different grades. I want to keep learning about brushes because it's something that I'm 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 learning and I love and I, I you know. So I want to keep learning and I do want to compare it to the to the one above the hair above psycho so I want to see how this works out. So this would work perfectly at the end. If I were into a lot of powder at the end of my um, routine, then I would, I would use this, but I am going to use it for powder too. I said this is the year I'm going to be using more powder. So let's build this up a little bit. Okay, so I forgot to tell you the name of the set, which is the Hannah set um, with the beautiful red handles. Now, I got this on, I'm gonna, I'm going to pronounce it the way, if you're an English speaker, you would say it, Feud Japan, F-U-D-E, japan.com, um, from a man named Toshia. On his site, it might say the Sakura set, um, it's definitely the red, it will say red for sure, but it might say Sakura. Again, it comes in with a brown handle uh, as well. Um, so this is where, Few Japan is where I get most of my um, Japanese brushes. One I get from the, the brand themselves, but most I go through Toshia to get, and he sells brushes, so he will send them to, he buys them, and then he sends them to you from Japan. He ships worldwide, and if you don't see a brush on his site, ask him about it. And even better, sign up to his newsletter because he's always letting you know what's going on, what's new, the changes in brushes. There's so many changes going on in terms of uh, hairs for brushes, so he keeps people up to date. A lot of brands are moving to synthetic. A lot of hairs have become uh, too hard to procure, so they don't even use, they're phasing them out. Um, they're changing them, they're doing mixes, so lots going on, but he keeps you abreast of all that information if you sign up to his newsletter through his site. So that's where I get them from, and that's where I got my Koyomo brushes. So now we're going to, for a moment, move on to these eyes. So here are the swatches for Papaline 839. So if you're into pink, this is going to be your palette. I, I, I always think there's a place for pink. I, I like pink every now and again. Um, this one is the most shimmery and, and sheer. So that I'll put probably in the brow bone, okay? Maybe as a topper to another color, but it definitely has pinks, okay? We have three pinkish, four, because the sheer one is pink too. Then we have like a, a peachy color here, okay? So this one's a little peachy, and then we have this beautiful, like, taupe color, which I think lends beautifully to shades of pink. I like that bit of brown in there with pink to maybe bring down the sweetness of the pinky colors. So that is the, those are the swatches. Here they are compared to the, to the uh, shadows. Pretty good, pretty, pretty uh, accurate to what we see in the pan and um i love this formula i just every time i swatch them i'm such a fan of dior's uh formula so creamy so beautiful and of course i'm going to use my hannah eye brush so the sets come with just an fyi a powder brush a cheek brush and an eye brush i believe that's what all the sets uh come with and again you can buy them individually or as a set okay so let's get into this eye brush so beautiful and super lightweight super lightweight okay <sighs> excited to try this i'm gonna try again to do the whole eye look with this single brush we'll see if i can pull it off
Okay, so let's honestly talk about this palette. My first impression was it's giving me Barbie. As I started to put it on my eye, it's giving me Barbie circa 1984, playing with my Barbie, put a little, put a little pink on her. She was wearing pink, you know what I'm saying? That like Barbie pink color to match her Barbie pink dresses. That's what it's giving. These are light, lighter pink colors. You saw them swatched on me. They are on my eyes. They got lighter and these two colors are the most problematic for me, this one and this one, because first of all, I don't think both were needed. I think there was a missed opportunity here to give us a different kind of pink in this palette. To me, these are just different um, uh, variations of intensity, these two shades. They're just too similar to me and they both have like silver, uh, there's a silver, shift to it, some sort of flex in there. So it takes that pink and makes it a little iridescent, but makes it even lighter than the pink would be on its own. But on the on, it's giving me Barbie. These two here, I like the peach and the taupe the most. I actually really like the sheer one. It uh, went in nicely on the brow bone. Um, it uh, blended very easily. The little bit of sparkles, no problem. It blended really easily. I needed, as you can see, a eyeliner to kind of muddy this up. The taupe did help. It did start the process in terms of helping, but I needed something with a little more depth. So that's why I went and put an eyeliner on. And now I like it. I like the look because it needed the eyeliner. It's a really light look on me. Light pink gives me Barbie. We've got that pinky silver. And again, they missed an opportunity for a different kind of pink. So some things to consider. It depends on what, it, it really does depend on what your preference is. I like warmer pinks, okay? But uh, for spring, I, I, you know, I get it. I get it. But I still think they, they had room for a, a pink that was a little bit warmer here. So, and on different skin tones, you know, you'll yield different results. And I just want to quickly mention, this did the trick. This Koyomo eye brush from the Hanna set. Um, it did the trick. I was able to do most of my eye with this single brush um, and it worked beautifully. I wiped it off on the cloth in between, cleaned right off, and I was able to go on to the next color. So we're two for two in terms of the brushes. Let's get some pink on these cheeks. So again, this is the cheek brush. Okay, beautiful, beautiful brush. So soft. The eye brush was too super soft. Very pleasant to, to use on my eyes. This feels so nice. And I'm going to use the Dior Forever Rosewood Glow. I think I, I, I may just do this, just this single thing. I don't think I'm gonna do a blush um, as well because I feel like these are like blush, um, blush highlighters. Ooh, this mirror is a mess. Where's my mirror? The other mirror. Mm. Nice glow immediately. Now, be careful, you know, glows, you gotta you can go over the top quickly. And so I'm still learning the brushes and, and, and how much. Um, this actually, the shift kind of makes sense with the, uh, the eyeshadow. This is what I should have done. This is the amount I should have on the other cheek. This is about where I want it. So this is Rosewood Glow. I have reviewed this on another Dior video on my channel already. Um, maybe I do want a little bit more color, I don't know. This brush is doing what I need it to do. So soft, so, so soft. Okay, let's see if this blush, yes it does. Okay, let's add a little more depth to the, the glow. This brush is picking up a beautiful amount. This is the Dior Birds of a Feather 468 blush. This is the color I needed. This is what I needed for this pink look. But the highlighter matches the, um, it matches the uh, eyeshadow really, really well. So I guess it all ties together in the end. That's what I mean, the complete look, you know, gives me a different perspective on the, on the eyeshadow. Okay, I, we finished out three brushes. They are absolute beauts. They blend out so beautifully, so soft on the cheeks. Did the same thing, wiped this off quickly, went in with the blush, love. Let's get to these lips and wrap this video up. So we've got a lot of pink going on, right? So I wanna switch it up with the, with the, um, 
with the lip color. We've, we've stayed true to our pink theme until now. This is Dior's color, uh, Velvet Rouge Lipstick. It's called Enigmatic. Okay, I think it's 866, Enigmatic. And let's swatch this. I happen to be a fan of their Velvet formula. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Okay, so we've got like a super deep like aubergine color, which I wanted to just, you know, completely do the opposite of what the rest of the lip was doing. Let's try this on. Now, this is not a new shade. It's new to me. And I want to say this is a great way to save on these uh, products, depending on where you live and the deals. But I just got the refill because I have enough of these cases now. So the refill is cheaper. It's about 10 bucks cheaper, I believe. So, plus I got like 25 or 30% off, I don't, I don't remember on top of that. But if you can't find a discount, instead of collecting cases, just buy the refill. It's just an easier way to do it, cheaper way to do it. So let's get this on the lips. Come on, Dior. See, I like this. This is how if pink is too overwhelming with like pink clothing and stuff and you just want to do something different. I know that the lip can make it a completely different look and I'm actually loving the dark, this dark plummy uh, color with these lighter shades of pink and all the pink going down. It makes the pink more palatable, okay? Um, I love this lipstick. I can't say enough, really. I cannot say enough about their velvet formula. I really, really love it. It's funny, um, it, on the Portuguese site, it says, the site that I, go, I went to for the discount, um, they call it uh, Matte Extreme, Extreme Matte or Matte Extreme. So that's, that's, I mean, it's the matte family, but it's so, so, so creamy, so velvety. Beautiful, beautiful formula, and I think a great way to end this video. So that's it for me, guys. Listen, this was a fun one. It was a different one. My expectations going in were different. I thought I was gonna really, really love this eyeshadow palette. I just like it, and I see how I need to, what I need to do to make it work. So if you're into these kind of pinks and the Barbie pinks and the light pinks and the pinks with the silver shift and, and more silver flecks in there, this might be your cup of tea. It might also depend on uh, your skin tone. Um, uh, it's fun for spring. It is lighter colors. The brushes are absolutely divine, all three of them. Silky soft and they perform beautifully and um, pick up product and distribute it evenly, which is super important and very kind to the skin. Love, love, love the brushes. And what else did we have? And then this lipstick was new, okay? Love it. Love the velvet formula, like I just said and I love this color with the pink. So let me know if you've gotten any of these new Dior palettes. Dior comes out with new stuff all the time and sneakily. Like I check Dior anyway, just to see if like new stuff has popped up and they always have new stuff. So um, let me know if you got anything from any recent releases from Dior. Did you get any, either of the eyeshadow palettes that I have? Again, remember the second eyeshadow palette and the, the uh, new foundation uh, will be in a video next week. Let me know, do you love their velvet formulas? What are you thinking about? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it when you do. And of course, if you wanna check out any of our silk twill skinny scarves, any of our t-shirt hair towel wraps, satin line beanies, satin line knit beanies, our boho head wraps, and all our other silk and linen hair accessories, just visit us at breezytea.com. I will check you guys in the next video. Ciao for now, bye.